this is just a little video footage of the 5th gen iPod Touch. Um, well, this is going to be the last thing I do in this camera test. And I'm just taking some video footage of around where I live. There's my house over there. I'm just taking some videos of and some close-ups. Some of the photos just a minute ago you may have found a bit, let's say, for instance, um, maybe blurred or pixelated. That's because they were with the zoom on. I was just giving a zoom test. I was seeing how much the pictures deplete with the zoom on. It's my car. Some bins, if you're interested, over there. There's two recycling bins. Very interesting stuff. Just focusing on that there. This camera, one thing I would say, it does focus very, very well. It's a frisbee lying there. I don't know where that's from. If I actually zoom in, I don't think you can zoom in in video, can you? No. This is my backyard. I'll just go around to my front yard as well because that's got some plants in. Plum trees with no plums on. Some pear trees there. Apple trees. If you're interested. Right, that's not good, but never mind. I can focus on that anyway. That um, power thing. I think. This is this little cabbage patch thing that we have. Football. Flat. And then just some. Well, we only just put this up. This is just a hedge. We had this put up. Um, it started to grow. It used to be about to out there. It's grown a bit. The worrying thing is we've been in India for four weeks. That was actually before I started this channel. It was put up before that, but... Hey, I was just listening to some Drake. Went out for a walk and I thought, well, I haven't done a video in a while, so... Why don't I just do a camera test? Because I haven't done one yet. I've done one in the actual review, but... Not an actual dedicated camera test. Oh gosh. Shoes are muddy. That's not good. Let's just focus on the sign actually. Yeah, Adidas top 10 originals. Swagging out. Um, hope I'm not covering up the mic. No. And now I'm just going to do a front facing camera test so that's it for the rear facing let me just actually let me just focus on some of these plants these are a bit messed up but then it's just been winter so that's it for the rear facing camera test now I'm gonna do the front face yeah, this camera is okay it's 720p HD video recording this actually doesn't have a um, LED flash well I don't think any front facing cameras actually have an LED flash nowadays. Um, I'm just walking about and then you just. It's alarming how good the front facing camera actually is. But this front facing camera is tiny though, that's the thing. I would prefer it to be about a little bit bigger. Like, if you've ever seen any Sony Xperia phones, um, the cameras on the Xperia phones are bigger, the front facing cameras, they are absolutely huge. I mean, they don't look good, but I think that's why the wind's blowing. Well, if you can't hear me because of the wind, I'm sorry about that, but if you can't hear me, I'll do a voiceover on iMovie. I don't use Final Cut Pro X, I don't see why I should spend so much money on that software when I don't even need it because iMovie is just good enough for me I don't really do very heavy duty editing I mean if I do go on to become a really big YouTuber or something uh, I, pr I probably will buy Final Cut Pro X because it's more accurate 
But for my needs at the moment, uh, iMovie is good enough. Uh, there's some building work going on behind me. That's actually um, a new block of... of bl I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's called. I know what it is. I don't know how to describe it, though. So, mm, well, this, the cameras on this iPod Touch, they're great. Uh, you've probably already heard me talk about it earlier. But if you if you missed that bit, or you're playing without audio for some reason, they are great. Um, color rep reproduction is really good, and um, the rear-facing one, which is where you can't see, it has, I think, an aperture of f2.1 or 2.4, which is actually pretty good for a handheld device. So, this was just a quick camera test. Um, Oh, by the way, if I didn't tell you earlier... Oh, there's a little chick. There's a chick there. Oh, never mind. It just flew away. But, um... For the front-facing camera, I don't know the aperture. I don't think it's really necessary. And, um... I hope you enjoyed this video. And, by the way, just to say one thing. These cameras, um... I do film my videos on mobile cameras. Uh, I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Because I have a choice at the moment. I mean, not necessarily a choice, but I, I have made offers to my dad. I mean, dad's willing to buy me a phone, an Android phone, for like 40, 50, 60 pounds maybe. And then on top of that, also buy me a um, DSLR camera. Or... He might just buy me a Samsung Galaxy device, probably S2, or just another phone like Lumia 800 or something that has a good camera, a decent camera that is. And if you were wondering why the Lumia 800 with its 8 megapixel camera could not do 1080p HD, it's because you need a dual core processor for that. So, I, ho I hope you enjoyed this video, and this is these I helped sign you off. Actually, before that, I hope you enjoyed my new intro. Uh, I'm sorry if my other videos weren't 1080p or 720p. Some probably should have been 1080p. But, um, that's because my intro wasn't HD. That's a problem I did have. Uh, this new intro is 720p HD, and it's free. Um... If you just type in Intro Maker into the uh, YouTube search, not the YouTube, the App Store search engine, uh, you'll come up with an app for intro making. It only has three or four templates, or maybe five. But I, I just needed one template, and it was a good free solution for an intro. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't notice, I have a bit of a cold. And I'll see you in the next one.